So um, For sure. yeah. I recall an interesting moment in your life. Uh, I didn't know about it at that point in time, but I know that uh, Donald Trump is one of your clients for your core business. And uh, yeah. I, I think we'd love to hear that story. Oh, sure. Yeah. And I, you, you can't bring it up in, in company with, with everybody because I know sometimes that can be defi- divisive right now with, with the position he holds, but uh, what a joy. And, you know, part of my story that I brought to you even most recently, that's been part of a, the latest transformation you've been helping me with, uh, you know, it has to do with these, you know, okay, you have all these accomplishments and wow, what a great thing. What a great name to drop that, that Donald Trump is one of your clients. Um, you know, again, it gets back to, you know, your skill set and what you feel most competent with. And you can have the greatest resume in the world, but until you're fine tuned all the way down into that subconscious level and uh, locked and loaded, it's never enough. But yes, the Donald Trump thing was excellent. He he wrote a book, Why We Want You to Be Rich with uh, Robert Kiyosaki, who's a great guy. He is uh, mainly in the real estate business, but he wrote a great book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And they got together because they wanted to uh, educate folks on, you know, the power of business information being in, in your, your child, in your, in, your, in, your, uh, in your life. And they created this book and it wasn't doing really well when it, when it first got out of the gate and they decided they need to rebrand it. And that is my thing. Um, for some reason, because there's a lot of people, these big companies can choose, I get the call when something needs to be done fast and, and, and be great. It has to be launched. And um, it has to be exactly what it needs to be to reach a lot of people in a, in a short span. So I got the call on that one. And um, we basically had to rebrand the book. Uh, they were running a bunch of commercials, national commercials, just to be on Oprah and in a bunch of places where women can be their demographic. And if you look at the book now on the shelves, it's kind of more branded towards men. So uh, that was my responsibility. Uh, I had to take all the video. It was strange at the time, too, because I, I always laugh when I get these projects these big ad agencies should be getting these, but I, I think I have a really unique activator gift uh, or strength to really be able to mobilize troops and focus in on exactly what something needs to be. I have a good grip on um, you know, the end consumer too and what they're looking at in their mind. I kind of look ahead and see what they're seeing and react the way you know, pretty much they're gonna react. And that creates a, a great presentation for communication. So. Yeah, a wonderful project, and, and many like it. Uh, you know, projects for BMI and some of these uh, other big companies. I, uh, you'll know from our latest conversation, it almost doesn't mean anything to me at this point in my life because I feel like not the people, the clients mean everything, but that it's more important to be really swinging with your strong points than just racking up, uh, you know, feathers in your cap and a, a resume that looks impressive because. Uh, you know, happiness and life satisfaction is everything to me. And I've realized at this point in my life that um, in knowing some of the things that I know now at a younger age, which is where I think it's amazing, you're helping people at, at different places in their, in their journey, even at their starting point as an entrepreneur, tremendous help. Uh, it, it can save a lot of time, a lot of energy, and also uh, make you a better person, a better husband, wife, whatever. Uh, it, it really is powerful. 